first i my advice to everybody who is very much interested in literature is observe the trees in nature that is the only way and select the best species suitable for this literature style first through my experience and practice i found more than 20 to 25 species tropical species suitable for this uh, style but even in temperate climate very few trees are suitable for this purpose but in our tropical climate you get a lot of trees are highly suitable for this style the most important the why i uh, told you that this uh, the nature is our uh, grand master because of nature is creating everything we are only supporting the plant to take some shape some pruning through pruning and some way so this is a good example of this uh, uh, model tree in front of me that is uh, cisalpinia feria that is uh, some people call it a leopard tree and uh, others uh, call it brazilian iron tree not rain tree that is very important a uh, rain tree is different this is iron tree because uh, its uh, trunk and hardness is like that so it is known as iron tree so uh, you are you can see the beautiful bend and curves and the movement of the trunk line which is not created by me that is very very important it is plants natural growth so when i started this um collected these seeds in 19 sub, between 1975 and 80 and i was growing it i was attracted by its uh, trunk because when you see that it's uh, peel off some of the portions and shows white and gray color that is the reason why people call it as a leopard tree now this uh, whiteness you can see more in this in this uh, you see this uh, white and gray color this uh, patches white patches that is the reason people call it as a leopard tree so i am attracted by the trunk of this tree in 19, between 1975 i collected its support there is a brown pod seeds and started to grow it after 5 to 10 years i found that it is very difficult to create a bonsai out of this because of its uh, sparse leaves and uh, along it uh, growth so i discarded it after 10 years and now uh, when i started to understand literati i found all these uh, neglected plants are beautiful for literati then i converted so many of my raw materials into literati you can see one is this the other one is this one this one and one more tree is here you see the trunk the moment of the trunk all these are all my neglected trees now after this i found some more species it is a uh, uh, bahunia bahunia it is a tomentosa um bahunia tomentosa it this tomato is a, a smallest leaf this is also a neglected tree i have not done nothing this automatically or uh, th this shape is developed by the tree itself in this way you can uh, find out so many species suitable for uh, this i will show some of the species um, during my um, the third part that is the uh, <clears throat> how to develop uh, this style this movement from the starting material that is nursery materials that is the last part before that i want to say something about the weird features of a um literature because uh, how it is uh, different from the basic style because basic style is completely with a lot of rules and regulations and uh, so many people are having some measurement and uh, rules uh, <laughs> the formula pride the trunk thickness as it is for and the branch places brand number of branches we have to develop the branch on the trunk line so many rules and everybody is following that rules or guidelines and creating beautiful basic styles but this is a uh, style which we have full freedom to create 
So nothing, no rules. It has its own rules, but main rule is the trunk line. That is, it must be slender. Need not worry about the thickness of the base, and need not worry about the radiating root system. Just it is a, a trunk movement. That is the most important part of it. This you can't develop by wiring. Simply prune it and develop the plant to grow in its own way. That growth will decide whether this uh, particular species is good for this particular style. So creation of such a beautiful curves like this, this sudden bend, and this, these are all very difficult to develop with by wiring. So if you prune it, automatically it will turn in direction and uh, creates a beautiful curve. This is the most important work is first to design the trunk line. Branches are not important. You can keep branches, few branches, anywhere uh, some, with some proportion, artistic proportion on along the trunk line. And the root system is also uh, not very much. Uh, this uh, root uh, must have the feeling that the root is holding the tree and uh, creating a stability and balance using the root system. And uh, when it becomes very old, it creates a portion of muscles or scales or um, beautiful colors, especially in uh, uh, Comifera, there's a green color. These are all the beautiful characters which are essential for the um, literati style. Need not worry much about the features, you are free to create. Only thing is the movement of the trunk line. That is the most important and the movement of the few branches at the correct places. And the apex, apex is a totally different concept. Apex may go upwards or it may come again, come downwards. These are all different uh, styles in literati created by the masters uh, without, with their uh, uh, create um, talent and the practice, they can create so many styles in literature also. So many movements. The movement uh, style depends on the movement of the trunk line. This trunk line may go upwards, go in a slanting way, it may go parallel or horizontal, it may uh, come down and it may go below touch the base or it may go below that because every basic styles can be converted into a literary style <clears throat> by just elongated all the size and um, size and height so generally literati is not a short form the short uh, bonsai is very long this uh, beauty you will get only if you grow it above 30 inch, um, no, above one meter. That is, uh, uh, that is uh, 36 inch, above three feet. That will be more uh, beautiful. If you make a small one, it may be 12 to 15 inch diameter, may making a small literati also. These are all the main points uh, you have to remember. Keep a uh, few leaves, that is sparse leaf, and the branches also very few and branches can you can grow the branches in in with a beautiful movement even crossing branches is also allowed in this that is a very very important no radiating roots um, only few uh, few roots which will balance with the movement of the trunk line if some uh, root is uh, on the left side of a tree going to the right side uh, creating a feeling that the tree is holding the uh, tree from or this creates a stability to the tree that is very important about the uh, root system 50 percent of the success is in the creation of the trunk line that is then placement of the a uh, few branches and uh, the <coughs> plants must be must have small leaves and the sports leaves <laughs> with these few words, I want to show you some of the um, uh, bonsai created by me um, for the last uh, 30, uh, three, three to four, three to four decades. This is my oldest literary bonsai. Its age is more than 30, 35 years old.
This is a Casharina Ecusidifolia. This is Australian variety. This is one of the best species for literati style. But uh, um, in the screen, I am unable to see its uh, base. Uh, yeah, okay. Now I am using only ordinary Pandici's, uh, um, this literati pot. It is uh, in a twin trunk style. Uh, it is uh, developed in a twin trunk style. Um, not very hard literati. It is a simple literati. Next. This is, uh, I have shown earlier, this is Cisalpenia feria, that is a Brazilian iron tree or lapo tree. This is also a pot is same, uh, Pandiji's literati pot. Next. This is also same species in another movement. Next. This is a very interesting moment of the apex uh, Go, uh, moving towards the uh, horizontal line, that is, uh, species is uh, Comifera. There are three Comifera are suitable for this. I will show you during my uh, second session after demo. And uh, next, <clears throat> this is very interesting movement of the tongue that is uh, moving to one direction and it is completely moving reverse and uh, moving horizontal. When I posted it in my Nikki Bonsai Garden group, one of my friend in Australia mentioned this style is uh, um, <clears throat> some pinching, a uh, lignum, lignum school of pinching style. It is called um, Moonlight Monkey style. I don't know, he has explained so many things, so some literature sent to me. I don't want to explain everything, but it is, I found it is so beautiful, so I created this. Uh, Converted uh, material into this. Uh, tomatosa, this is also one of the best variety. It is suitable only for literati. This is all the movement, everything is created by the plant itself. This is, uh, um, this is also um, this uh, feria, that is Cisalpinia feria. Next. This is a group planting of Cisalpinia feria. Everything converted into a literati high converted into a literati movement. This is my first group planting. It maybe happened in between uh, at the beginning of 80s. Then uh, after a few years, uh, I, I found that this is not suitable for a group planting, but uh, this is uh, my knowledge at that time. Uh, accordingly, I planted everything in a one point and uh, developed the group. Now, after seeing that it is not good, I neglected every tree changed changed into a lit, uh, uh, literati movement. So I am now calling it as a literati group planted. Really, I want to make a literati pinching and group planting in future with the suitable trees. Next. Uh, this is the old uh, um, literati plant with uh, some knowledge. Um, I, I had the knowledge uh, at that time is uh, if you bend the apex, parallel or downward, that is called a literati. This was my understanding in, I think it may be in end of 80s. So I started to grow it like it. During our last convention, Jun Laga want to uh, make a tree pinching with this uh, literati. So he put it on a pinching tray and uh, now it is uh, <clears throat> looks like a tree pinching. Next. This is uh, another acacia. It is a um, <clears throat> very difficult plant. This, uh, this tree is also uh, developed by its own growth. Um, this um, acacia, the species is modesta. It is, uh, its uh, thorns are very sharp and hooked. Working on it is very, very difficult and we can't touch it also, but it is it gives a beautiful flower, white spiked flowers, and its movement is so beautiful. My first demonstration is on this species, uh, which is uh, grown wild uh, in my garden, uh, unable to tame it in any other style. So now I feel to convert it into a literati. That will be my first demo. Next. <clears throat> this is also same species. Um, acacia. 
this is also having a different moment hello there is no the video or audio branch which we can bend it down then it will look more nice next this is very interesting uh, uh, ficus that is ficus tomentosa and the latest name is uh, ficus mollis it is uh, some people call it a rock ficus you you can see uh, it is developed in a different way from roots that is a very important work i am doing for the uh, several for the last two to three decades and uh, created a beautiful this uh, ficus in this in this type of uh, style which is uh, you can call it literature our next class will be that is uh, on this subject that is art with root so i am that is especially i will show this um, ficus tomentos or mollis uh, which uh, uh, i have developed for the last three records the curds in this style with the help of its roots next this is uh, of course it is a casuarina with a beautiful uh, twin trunk you see in our basic style twin trunk starts from the base here you see it is starting from little upwards still the trunk line is moving in a very beautiful way i am i feel that it is a the moment of the two trunks are synchronized next this is very interesting another interesting plant um the species name is salvador salvadora pesica it is called toothbrush tree it is common in arid zone regions because um it is very difficult to develop it branches it is uh, growing upwards and then it is hanging but uh, after to, now this tree is more than 20 25 years the trunk is so beautiful if you see it's a close up uh, you can see the uh, <clears throat> texture of that trunk and uh, that is a this tree is beautiful with a beautiful curve and a texture this is yeah next this is also a casuarina with a, in a different uh, trunk line next this is his alpinia same thing next ah this is also another interesting premna nobody is uh, growing it this is uh, <clears throat> premna uh, serratifolia which i found from kerala one of my friend uh, in kerala bonds association found it uh, in kochi kochi and the north of kerala and when i discussed about this species one of my friend who is a scientist working on this um, <clears throat> mangrove forest told me this is an associated tree of mangrove forest so it is very common in kerala and uh, i collected it and developed it i found this is not at all good for any basic styles but it is so beautiful as a literary style <clears throat> there you see the pot this pot is uh, uh, made by me designed by me by me and uh, <clears throat> created by me which is suitable to literary style but this pot is little bigger to this uh, tree next this is also another tree found from my uh, hills around my place that is the uh, thailand of the western gods is having lot of this tree this is diasporos feria now i heard that uh, it is so many countries are having the same but it is very common tree in uh, in chennai andhra and tamil nadu and it is uh, you can see a lot of uh, same species in my district also there is another interesting aspect of it is having um, male and female female trees uh, female tree is giving beautiful fruits also you can see the pot is made by me next this is uh, <clears throat> another uh, comifera variety uh, which is uh, having a different type of movement this i got from delhi the comifera but it is very difficult to see it with the leaves next this is uh, i want to explain this this is actually a fusion of literati with the 
basic styles. Because if you um, <clears throat> blunt literati movement with a basic style, you can create this style. This I am calling it fusion of literati and basic styles. I am using a regular pot. So I have made two, three a bonsai like this with a touch of literati in basic style. Next. This is also the same. You can see the trunk is moving upwards, one portion moving downwards. That is the attraction of this uh, uh, movement. These are all small uh, literati, maybe 20, 24 inches. Next. This is the same, same way. This is a fusion of literati with the basic style. Next. This is when you display literati, you have to oh, place some accent plant or accent bonsai or complementary plant. This particular accent plant, which is not suitable to this, uh, uh, the size of this uh, bonsai, because it is uh, comparing with the tall one, this you can use. This is Euphorbia variety, which is the only a um, complementary plant, not a bonsai, but its movement is so beautiful, it uh, matches with the uh, trunk line movement of the literati style. 